we warm up. It won't necessarily <laughs> feel as warm as it will in New Orleans, but we all warm up we'll to a well it. above average. Yeah, I think we're going to be talking about, you know, anywhere from 10 to 12 degrees above average for a couple of days stretch, no less. It's not just once and done, so that's always nice. Looking at storm scan, it's quiet now. You do still have some snow working its way off the Carolina coastline, but here locally, we've got nothing more than a couple of clouds. It is generally clear and definitely cold as a result. Looking at the jet stream and the difference in the color contouring, recall that the darker the shades, the blues, the purples, the colder the air. But when you start to see some brighter colors like this, it's it's good news if you like the warmth anyway. Now Friday is generally still what's seasonable. So you sort of level off here into green territory, but with time into Saturday as well as Sunday, as well as Monday, those colors start to shift more and more yellow and even some orange starts to work its way north by this point. So very, very warm air before an inevitable drop on the thermometer, which you'll notice here uh, waiting off to the west here with a new frontal passage coming in. For the meantime, though, it is nice and clear. Yesterday, I didn't even show this camera because you couldn't see anything. It was so hazy and so dark. Uh, and gray out over the Delaware River here. Any of the ice that we had on the Delaware, that looks like it's pretty much gone at this point, but off in the distance, you can even make out the center city skyline for the first time in a few days. Looking forward, though, in the eyewitness weather seven day. Yeah, this is good stuff if you like it. Mild, low 50s right through the weekend. And if you are the procrastinator as I am and have yet to take your Christmas decorations down, this would be a good <laughs> excuse to do that. Finally, Katie.